Hi everyone, it's me, Tim. Today I want to talk about all those recipes that appeared in a lot of my video games. So for those of you who don't want to hear personal information from me, you can just skip this. There's not a lot of game development in it. You will be uninterested. So all of this started with Stone Keep and a pumpkin muffin recipe, but I'll tell you a little bit about what led up to all that. So I grew up the youngest of five kids and I never really learned to cook at home. My mom would cook a lot of food. I had an older sister who cooked a lot. I just never was asked to do any cooking. I didn't know how to cook. So when I went off to college, I knew nothing about feeding myself, which is fine because, you know, your first year, actually for me, the first two years, I lived on campus, ate from the school cafeteria, and I lived. But my third year, I moved off campus, and I didn't know how to cook. But luckily, uh, one of the guys I shared the apartment with, Jeff, was putting himself through school as a sous chef. And he could make the most amazing things. I mean, I would come home, and he's like, I'm throwing together some trout almondine. I'm like, yeah. So I kind of wanted to supplement that food. So I started learning how to bake because baking is very different. Cooking is very, you taste, you, 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 you change the ingredients on the fly. You're, it's very, it's kind of like the jazz of cooking, but baking is all measuring precisely, putting together, putting in the oven, very engineering, which is what I was doing, what I was studying. So I started doing that. It was good. Made a lot of chocolate stuff. Chocolate was what I was into. So a few years later, when I went off to grad school in California, I found myself baking a lot more. I didn't have a car my first year of grad school. And in California, if you don't have a car, you're not going anywhere. So I did a lot more baking. There was one month where I baked a different recipe every day. And anything that was left over, I took into school with me or I gave it to my next door neighbors until finally one of them came over, Catherine, and begged me to stop dropping things off. Uh, she said, we've gained weight since you've moved in. You've got to stop doing this. And I was like, okay. And then three days later, uh, she and her roommate Megan came by to see if I had made anything. So that was funny. I also, um, I started baking so much that Trader Joe's sold these big 10 pound block of Giardelli dark chocolate. I went to my local Trader Joe's and bought one. And then a, about a month and a half later, I went and bought another one. And I had the same cashier and she didn't say anything. Then about two months later, I went and bought a third one. So that's 30 pounds. And she said, I have to know, are you buying these as a gift? And I said, no, I'm, I bake with them. I bang a piece off and I melt it and I cook it. She goes, wow. So yeah, it got noticed. So I kept cooking a lot or baking a lot when I started at Interplay. I would always bring things in because I'd make something and I didn't want to eat it all. So I'd bring it in and people would eat it. And there was one thing that was really popular, the chocolate chip pumpkin muffins. They were from my friend Beth. She had a book of just muffin recipes. And she made it, and they were good. Everybody liked them. But I'm not a big fan of ginger as a spice. I love pickled ginger next to my sushi, but I don't like ginger as a spice. And I found out my mom never used it when I was a kid. Her pumpkin pie recipe used just cinnamon, nutmeg, and cloves, which is interesting because I hate cloves. Turns out, so does my mom. But she told me, if you don't put a little bit of clove in, just a little bit, it doesn't taste right. Which may be the origin of flaws because you need something a little wrong to make something really right. So I redid the pumpkin muffin recipe from Beth's book. But in, I threw out all the spices that, that it used and I replaced them with my mom's pumpkin pie spices. I also upped the chocolate chips a little bit because they were really good. They were really good. And I started making those when I was at Interplay and I just bring them in. So when Stonekeep was nearing completion and I had done a little bit of work, I made a critical error handler for the CD reading algorithm. It had to be done in assembly and I knew assembly. So Chris Taylor wanted to put the recipe on the disc as a hidden file. And it was just recipe.txt. And it was re he rewrote it to make it sound like, you know, this is what the Shadow King eats. So it turned out it was pretty popular. People liked it. So then when I was making Fallout, we wanted to put recipes in. He put a taco salad recipe and I put a recipe for 
mushroom clouds, which are little meringue cookies that look just like mushrooms. They're meringue caps and stems that are glued together with dark chocolate. That came from a recipe book for a chocolate Christmas Yule log cake that you decorated with those mushrooms. And I thought the cake was eh, but the cookies were really good. The mushroom cookies were great. So I started making those. One issue with them is it takes about six hours to make because you you mix together meringue, takes about 20 minutes, and then you slow bake them at 200 for two hours. Then they cool, then you snip the top of the stems, then you melt chocolate, and then you have to glue them all together. The whole thing from start to finish takes about six hours. I started taking them to a friend who had a Christmas party every year, big Christmas party, kind of a fancy Christmas party. I met the mayor of Newport Beach at that Christmas party. And I'd bring them, and she had it catered, and I'd give the cookies to the caterer, and they'd bring them out on trays. And the second or third year I did that, the caterers asked me for the recipe because they wanted to start including those cookies in other parties that they catered. But when I gave them the recipe, the 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 head caterer, she looked at the recipe and went, six hours? We're not going to do that. And they didn't. So I think I took those cookies to my friend's Christmas party, I think for 25 years, maybe a little more. I remember taking them when I still lived in a, a little apartment in Costa Mesa. So it's probably more like 27 years. So I included those as the fallout, as the mushroom clouds in the back page of fallout with the picture of me holding a tray of them. In fact, over here is the original picture of me that T. Ray drew. So then the next game I made was Arcanum and I wanted to include a recipe in that and I wanted it themed for Arcanum. So I rewrote it, making it sound like it was a halfling recipe. And that was my mother's banana bread recipe, pretty much unchanged. I think, I think it might have a little cinnamon in it that her, the original one didn't have. I don't remember. And that was popular. So for the next game, Temple, I wanted to put a recipe in that. And Atari pretty much said, no, we're not. There's no room in the manual. We're not going to waste time for this. So I did it as a file again. I think it was. I don't think it appeared in there. But it was written up as if an elf had found it um, on an orc they killed with halfling parts. <laughs> so obviously it was another halfling recipe. Um, and that was for my chocolate chip cookie recipe. And that was a recipe I got from a secretary at UCI when I was a grad student. She was always giving me recipes for things when she found out how much I like chocolate. And that was a recipe it called originally for like a cup of chocolate chips. And I upped it to a cup and a half and then two cups and then two and a half and then three cups. And I found out if you tried to put three and a half cups of chips in or more, there was so much chocolate that the cookie wouldn't hold together. And you'd end up with a puddle of mel melted chocolate with dough blobs in it. And I ate those, by the way. They were delicious dough blobs. So I pulled it back to three cups. I called it chocolate chip cookies of the gods because they were just fantastic. Those are the cookie recipe that you had to make the dough and refrigerate it overnight to let the flavors mingle. And if you didn't do that, it didn't taste as good. And then f I didn't do anything on Vampire. I wasn't on it for the first, you know, almost two years. Then at Carbine, I left before it shipped. And then when I got to Obsidian, I kind of felt that it wasn't appropriate to do it in like South Park or, or, um, it just, it wasn't, I mean, I just came on as a programmer and it wasn't anything I was involved in and I didn't have anything to theme. But then when Pillars got kickstarted and the reaction from the public was really amazing and we started adding in all these goals, I think it was Josh came to me and said, hey, would you do recipes? And I was like, recipes plural. And I think I ended up picking 10 to 12 recipes um, ranging from super simple like egg salad. So if you can boil water and hard boil eggs, you can make this up to some more complicated recipes. And that all got put together in a Pillars of Eternity cookbook that became a, a higher tier reward. And I thought that was pretty cool. Um, also, Josh rewrote that. Uh, we wrote my recipes to be more thematic of the Pillars universe. And I thought that was really fun. 
And then I, I didn't do it for Outer Worlds. Outer Worlds had a recipe in it for the concentrated distillate. I've tried to trace down where it came from because Bree, the artist who put it in the game, she thought it came from me. So we went to her boss, Dan Alpert, the art director, and he also thought it came from me. And it did not come from me. And then later on, I saw Greg make it on the YouTube channel, How to Drink. And I was like, I don't know where this came from. I literally don't know where that recipe came from. So, I mean, if anybody figures it out, let me know. Because it, apparently it was, somebody traced it down to something used in a con called Apple something. But it the recipe is a little different. So I don't know where it came from. And so I've kind of stopped doing that. Um, also I switched off carbs a few years ago, so I have adjusted some of these recipes to be low carb and they pretty much switch over. But anyway, that's kind of the origin of where all these recipes came up in the games I made. You can find them online. I was going to try to put them in the comment section, but the recipes are way too long for what will fit in the description of the, of this video. But I'm sure you can find them online if you uh, Google the game and the recipe. Anyway, I hope you thought that was fun.